after my opening statement where I said, what we need is more RAND, he basically said, well, I'm not going to argue with Iran. I kind of agree with Iran. I mean, this is from John Fund. This is a big deal. Um, but then we discussed kind of the, the, the state of, of politics in America, the state of the American right. And I'll just tell you, because I, I, you know, I'll tell you right up front what I found to be the best news of the night. The best news of the night was John Fund, who is an insider, an insider within the Republican Party policies, who's known Donald Trump for 30 years, uh, who is uh, who knows in depth kind of uh, what is going on within the Republican Party and and uh, and what the different machinations are and what the different programs are and what the different personalities are. John Fon basically said that he's willing to bet anything that Donald Trump will not be the nominee of the Republican Party for president in 2024. Now, just to hear John Fon say that was worth a trip to Vienna because he made my day, right? Donald Trump will not be a candidate on the Republican side for president in 2024 was fantastic news if Fund is right. And there's every reason to believe he is right, uh, just because, again, he knows these people, he knows the party, he knows the, the, the movers and shakers, uh, he knows what's involved. I, I, you know, I don't know that he knows who's going to be the nominee. He, he had some positive things to say about um, the governor of Florida. Uh, and we argued a little bit about that, but 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 generally he had positive things to say about the governor, uh, governor of uh, the governor of Florida, um, and you know he he basically made the argument that the Trumpism to a large extent is dead, and that yes, there are there are the national conservatives, and there's the alt right, and there's the new right, that the illiberal elements within the right. But he, he thought that they would not be dominant in the party, that they would not be a significant force, and, and that, I, you know, I don't know that he's right. I don't know that he's right. I hope he's right. I hope DeSantis is better than I think he is. I hope John Fund is right about DeSantis, and he's, and he's actually, to say, he says DeSantis is like, is a, is a Reagan, but who won't, in a sense, admit it. You know, he's, he's Reagan in terms of his policies and in terms of his views. He said, I said, well, why does he do all these status things? And he said, give me three things, three things that the scientists did that are status. And I gave him three things. So he said, ah, none of them are significant. I said, well, <laughs> this is significant enough. If you want to know the three things was one, a law passed in Florida that basically uh, 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 penalized social media for banning politicians. Pfft, really? I mean, free speech? Of course, you should be able to ban politicians. Second, um, the law that said that uh, cruise ships could not, private businesses could not require people to be vaccinated in order to board a cruise ship. Private businesses, they should be able to do whatever they want. And then the third one was, what was the third one? I gave a third one. And I actually had a fourth one, but what was the third one? Well, I mean, I don't think government should ban CRT. Um, I, I think that if it's going to be banned, it should be banned by school districts. It's very dangerous when you get into the business of state government, state leadership at, at, the, at the state level, that the government tells school districts what they can and cannot teach. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, 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 we'll see if DeSantis is really, DeSantis did well with COVID, I give him credit for that, not as well as I'd like him to, but, but, but well in COVID. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll see. But again, fun was positive. Um, it, he did not want to debate uh, philosophy. He basically granted Ayn Rand the philosophical high ground. He granted me the philosophical high ground. Uh, that was, uh, and, and that was, that was, that's pretty good when you get uh, a senior person within the conservative movement basically uh, 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 giving, giving you that. Now, this one was recorded, so you will be able to see it, um, and you will be able to see the exchange. Uh, the other good piece of good news from him Again, who knows if he's right, but if he's right, is that he believes within two to three weeks the war in Ukraine uh, will be over, that, that they'll cut some kind of a deal, um, and uh, that, that Putin will realize that it's not in his interest to continue the war, and he'll cut some kind of deal. The Ukrainians will have to give up some stuff, and, and uh, the bloodshed will be over. Um, depending on what kind of deal they cut, uh, that will determine whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but, but it's, it will be good if we could eliminate the bloodshed. Um, 
Santis helped end COVID. The Santis didn't help end COVID. Give me a break. The Santis didn't regulate COVID like crazy. He didn't have uh, lockdowns, at least not uh, later, early on. Everybody did, but and and he didn't have the mask mandates and didn't have a, a other mandates. But that didn't help end COVID. That just that just was the right policy to have. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.